Howdy. You're probably wondering, Jay, why are you just sitting on a couch with a blanket and two books beside you, wearing a Santa hat at 9 p.m.? Well, because this was suggested by these two people up on the screen, because they suggested this guy, <laughs> that guy, they suggested me to read this book in front of you guys, just as a little heartwarming Christmas story before the Christmas, the real stuff begins. And we're thinking that on Christmas Eve, Granny will read this book to you in front of a fireplace. They all say it's a good idea. This book that we're reading today is The Night Before Christmas, illustrated by Leonard Weisgard. Sounds like a good kind of wine to me. <laughs> who wrote the book? It only says who it's illustrated by. Oh, Clement Seymour. I guess he likes to see a lot. Seymour. Hmm. We got cats and dogs. Twas the night before Christmas went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a louse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. I like how they use like the stockings and the ornaments as kind of like words, because they use it for like places for words. It's kind of smart. I think they do that for all the pages. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced through their heads. Okay. There's a cat scratching on something. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what's the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, threw open the shutters, and threw up the sash. Is it just me or that guy have way too many cookies? <laughs> he had way too many sashes. He threw up the sash. <laughs> <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> That's wrong, man. I mean, that's what it says. I mean, that's what the fine print says. It threw up the sash. The maybe, sash. Maybe you should have had sashayed over to the window. Where is all the puke on the ground? I don't see any. Oh, man. This book needs some uh, adjusting. Listen to when they call the reindeer. On vomit, on Cupid. <laughs> that is so mean. <laughs> That's offensive, bro. <laughs> the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a lustre of the midday objects below. What to my wondering eyes did appear, but but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. Now it's kind of making me think: Is Santa this big? If it said miniature, probably because it was out in the distance. Um, I think we might just have we might just have to figure out. Mm. Santa doesn't look as it doesn't look like he had as many cookies as that one on the video on Friday. <laughs> that guy was this fat and his legs were this big. They are like this big. He was fat. Oh, man. The little old driver, so lively and quick. I know in a moment he must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Printer, and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Sounds 
like he's treating them orderly. As leaves that the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up on the housetop, the courses they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Okay. I like this book so far. I mean, I haven't read it in so long. His, high, his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Well, in this perspective, it doesn't look like it. It looks like uh, he put a little makeup on it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I like how the ornaments have Santa jumping up and down. It's kind of funny. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it incurabled. His head like a wreath. wreath. My bad. I'm not good at pronouncing. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A winkle of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled off the stockings, then turned with a jerk laying his finger aside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang in he sprang to his sleigh. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like down of the thistle. But I heard him exclaim here he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and good night. Yay! That was um, <clears throat> an okay book with a, a little applause in the background by the cats, scratching around who knows what. But uh, yeah, when was this book published? 1949. This book is kind of old. Just this copy. I was giving him proof that it was 1949. I'm not just making something up. But, uh, yeah. yeah it's copyright with 1949. I know. That means the book has to be way older than that. Not the book itself. No, like the story. Yes. The writing. Wow. Alright. So leave a like on the video if you want us to do a part two with this book. And subscribe if you want to do two more. And also, if you want to do three more, no. click the notification bell. And uh, so you're notified of brand new videos. So yeah, link in the description to. <laughs> yeah, that's the cat trying to kill itself. Link in the description if you want to go to Amazon, buy this book, yada yada yada. Sayonara, folks. Subscribe to never miss a new video, and like if you want me to embarrass myself again. So subscribe and like.